So I want to give a, a quick tour of my brake system. I'd promised a video of this a while back. Um, obviously you can see I've got all the pedals in and everything else. Um, and I went with the Bonico hoses, um, which are really nice by the way. It's just the standard Bonico kit. Um, up into uh, the Matco parking valve. Um, I'm going to have my, my push-pull cable coming in off over this side. I built this mount pretty much uh, out of a couple of pieces of angle aluminum and built a little mounting plate for it so um, with some AN3 bolts I can put it in, in place. Uh, the main reason I'm shooting the video is because I did something a little bit different. According to the plans you're supposed to come off of here with a hard line that goes all the way down to uh, the landing gear mounts. I actually had Bonico make some hoses for me. Um, these are 64 inches in length, both of these for the left and right. Um, and you can see over here, just to show you how I mounted it, I've got a bracket here that I built hanging off to an Adele clamp right down here. Um, I built that one, came back in here um, and built a second one. Pull out a little bit here, a little bit further. This is the uh, the recess in the firewall. I built another one that hangs down right here uh, with some Adele clamps. I put some uh, just regular regular old red RTV right here just to kind of uh, keep the uh, hoses from coming off this nut plate, so it just protects the hose just a little bit more. It's probably not going to be a problem. Uh, this is the standard mount right down there, the standard uh, spots for the Adele clamps. And then once you get down into the into the tunnel. Uh, you can see where I ran, I ran it down here. And I did this a little bit different. I picked up the hose between the factory mounts, which are these right here on the bottom. I actually picked up the hose a little bit right here. And the main reason I did that is to keep the hose from settling down on those rivet tails. Um, it's just really close, and I'm not real excited about all the vibration being close to those rivet tails. So this picks it up and allows that... Uh, the hose to be picked up all the way for the length. So like I said, that hose there is 64 inches long and I bring it all the way down um, right down here uh, into the into the tunnel. Coming out of the tunnel on both sides I had some other hoses built. These are uh, once again Matco hoses, or, I'm sorry not Matco, uh, Bonico hoses um, and these are 20 inches in length um, I did not use the regular old mounts down here. Um, what I did is I actually picked it up. If I can get the camera turned around, you can see I used a pair of Adele clamps, one uh, around the landing gear mount here, and the other is on the hose. So it picks it up and, and keeps it up out of the way. And of course I bring that all the way down here uh, to the landing gear mount. A um, couple things if you decide to order these. Uh, on this fitting here, I've got a 90 degree fitting. On this fitting here, it's straight in. And if you look down here, you can't really see it, but the aft, this one right down here, uh, the aft fitting is a uh, 45 degree fitting, which actually works quite nice because it drops it out of the way of the fuel line you see coming in there um, and brings it all the way forward. The only change I probably would have made is put a 45 degree fitting on up here which would have let me get rid of this loop and uh, I probably would have shortened it by about an inch once again to get rid of that loop also. But anyway, that's how I, uh, how I did the, um, the brakes. I'm going to ultimately come back in here um, and do a little bit better job securing these and making standoffs and something nice in there. But for now, it's uh, just really just holding everything in place while I sit here and work through it. Thanks.